So, a few million years after the big, but actually silent, bang, we have a universe that consists of lots of energy, lots of particles of hydrogen, helium, and a bit of lithium. But for the most part, it is a fairly boring place to be. How did we get all the diverse elements that make up the stuff we have today? Interesting things started to happen because of the very slight fluctuations in these particles' spatial distribution. They are attracted to each other by gravity and slowly one or two particles attract more particles and clouds begin to appear. Over a few hundred million years, these particle clouds become quite massive. The clouds collapse in on themselves and become denser and hotter as they attract more energy and particles until at 10 million degrees Celsius, the collisions of the individual hydrogen nuclei become so great that some fuse together to make helium nuclei. Subsequently, according to the reverse of E equals mc squared, a tiny amount of matter is transformed into an enormous amount of energy. This forms a powerful centre around which the energy pushing out prevents any further collapse and stabilises the structure and a new star is born. Evidence suggests that the universe was lit up by stars as early as 200 million years after the Big Bang, forming galaxies of stars as they were attracted together under gravity. It appears that in the first few billion years of the cosmos, 50 to 100 billion galaxies were formed, and each one of these contained up to 100 billion stars. So, we have stars which give out energy and convert hydrogen into helium. This is still not enough different stuff to make up our world today. More interesting things start to happen when the hydrogen finally runs out in the star and the core no longer has the energy to resist further collapse. Its temperature begins to rise again until it reaches 100 million degrees and at that point it can fuse helium and expands to become a red giant. Slowly, the helium gets used up and the collapse happens again and the greater pressure enables fusing of carbon, oxygen and silicon. All the elements on the periodic table and collapsing shortening cycles until eventually it reaches iron. At this point in the very largest stars, there is a supernova explosion which is so hot and pressurised that the heavier elements are made in a few intense seconds, all the way up to lead, gold and uranium. During this explosion, these elements are spewed all over the universe in large, often beautiful and majestic clouds, such as we see now in the Crab Nebula. So essentially, that is where all the elements that we are made of come from. We, and all the things around us, are all made up of stardust. <laughs>